My dad wasn't really originally a hunter. He was actually a surfer. He started taking me out originally duck hunting, eight years old, shoot the ducks with the BB gun and they'd get up and fly away. And then learning as we went, I think we kind of started at the same time. He was learning as I was growing up and I kind of took over from there. Teach your kids how to camp and then that will grow into backpacking and then that can grow into packing in to hunt animals. But it's a continuum of exposure to the outdoors. You go through rites of passages as you grow up and to be able to go along and, and actually partake in what it was that they were doing, which up until that point I could only guess, all pretty big steps and, and you know, being one of the guys and becoming a hunter myself. Watching your child's face when they see something for the first time, whether it's the summit on a mountain or whether you're laying out under the stars at night and animals are coming through under the trees, but just the, the wonderment of the outdoors that they will never see in the city and an understanding that that's where we all started. So they act responsible as adults in preserving wild places and wild animals. I want both my kids to think about something bigger than themselves. It's a way for them to disconnect. You know, it's a busy world right now. There's all kinds, even at a young age, there's all kinds of stuff going on that pulls them away from stuff that connects them to the past. And it's a way to guide them in the future to something that you want them to be. I don't think anything worthwhile in life comes easy. Early mornings, cold mornings, long hikes, bad weather, hunts that don't lead to taking an animal are ways of beginning to appreciate I can handle hard times. This is part of what we do. This is part of why we hunt. We, we are harvesting an animal. There should be a price we pay for this. It shouldn't be easy. As soon as I was allowed to start going, they had to keep me from wanting to do it too much. I'd be the first one up. I'd, my dad would have me set my alarm because he knew I'd be so excited that I could wake up and go wake him up. It'll be really cool just to see how far he can take it. I mean, he's hopelessly addicted. Like he, it's all he wants to think about. It's all he talks about. It's like he shoots his little bow in the backyard. We've already had parameters. He's only allowed to hunt the rabbits in the backyard with his bow, not with his BB gun, because I don't want him to get one. <laughs> I don't know that at the time I could fully appreciate what I was learning, what the tradition meant, but now looking back, I surely can. And, and I, I mean, it's one of the things I most look forward to about having kids myself is, you know, passing it all along and, and teaching them what I learned and value so much now. It's one of the greatest gifts you could ever give a kid is a lifelong hobby. You know, there's lots of stuff you can do, whether it's baseball or sports or whatever, but you can't do it for your whole life. It's an incredible gift that my dad gave me and I'll give my son from six years old now until he's 80. You can still be hunting, you can still be in the woods, being in outdoors. It's just an incredible, it's an incredible hobby. They're just a bond between, you know, grandfathers and grandchildren, it's just kind of magical. Selfishly, just to watch him emerge and watch how he grows and maybe in some small way contribute to his understanding of what, why we're doing all this. I think of hunting as kind of character building. You, know, you go out, you suffer and you be miserable, but when you come back, you want to go again. I would say that my dad taking me hunting was one of the best things he could have ever done. I mean, it's kind of molded me into the person that I am and it molds you into the person that you become.